Welcome to week 40 of reselling full time in Australia. Welcome back to the channel where we talk all about salvaging items that have been discarded and flipping them online for a profit. Now, if this sounds interesting to you, then hit that subscribe button and like this video to see more of it as well. It's Monday morning, so let's quickly jump back to Sunday night to go through all of the items that sold this weekend. It is Sunday night and here are some of the things that I have sold over the weekend. Starting off with this bar mat, this went for $29 plus shipping. Xbox 360 big game, that went for $20 free shipping. This really cool Fern Gully vintage coloring in book from 1992, unused, that went for $25 plus shipping. This really cool 90s Celestial uh, photo album, this went on Depop for $24 with free shipping. Just a basic fit and flare dress from Forever New, that went on Poshmark for $20 plus shipping. This little jumper from Pure Baby, which is a great brand to look out for. This is wool and cotton. It went for $16 plus shipping. A brand new high-waisted skirt from Suzanne. That went for $20 plus shipping. This beautiful keepsake dress is brand new with tags and it went for $40 plus shipping. These jeans sold within 24 hours. I wasn't too sure on the brand, but they came in a bulk lot. Um, they are brand new. They are extra long. So the inner length of the pants measured 90 centimeters, which is very, very long. They're sort of like a horse riding rodeo brand and they went for $20 plus shipping. Just a basic pair of harem pants. They're just a sort of no name brand. They went for 15 plus shipping. This jacket is really, really cool. It is super Y2K style. This went for $27.30 because it was on a 30% off sale plus shipping. And lastly, this pair of beige linen pants from Suzanne, they went for $18.90 plus postage. Again, on the 30% off sale I've got running for older items. Today I am heading out op shopping and I'm so excited because I haven't been op shopping in about three or four weeks because it's been Christmas and New Year. I have officially listed everything in my stockpile on Friday and so I'm starting the new year, starting a new week by going and sourcing new items. I am so excited. Okay, let's go. Whenever I head into an op shop, I always take reusable bags in with me. This really helps the volunteers because they're constantly needing them. And then I know that I am reusing the bags that I find. I'm also constantly donating items myself. There's always things that I get in bulk lots that aren't worth my time listing online or shipping. Um, and so there's nothing wrong with them. It's just better that I donate them to the charity that is gonna be able to sell them a lot easier than I can.
Aircon cranking because it is a hot one today. <laughs> I'm done in salvos and I just love going in there every time. The ladies are wonderful. They're constantly putting out new stuff and so I grabbed a couple of tops that the lady had just put out but it's just a pleasant experience every time I go in there and so I don't mind spending more time, spending more money, having a conversation because it's a nice experience where some other op shops I go into and it's just a bad feeling the whole time. The volunteers are cranky and I'm not sure why the culture is like that there, but this one I love. I love it. It's so pleasant going in. Something I always try to do is look for ways to help out the volunteers. So some of the things that I do is I always take in reusable bags and I always ask them if it's easier for them to take it as I walk in or when I check out and then I always put my basket away. I always take the clothes off the coat hangers before I get to the counter so that it's a lot faster and easier for them. Just little things just to make it easier for them because I know that they go through so much crap with some of the people that go in there but then literally they go through so much crap that people donate so I just like to make it a pleasant experience for them as well it's just nice to be nice like I don't know it's not that hard and especially with the salvos that I go into I'm getting a really good relationship with the ladies they know who I am I'm always donating stuff to them first I always give them newspapers boxes bag and it's just building that relationship just to make the whole thing nicer so yeah think about what you can do for your volunteers next time you hop in there two was fantastic. Now we're on to stop number three which is a really tiny little community op shop which I love. I love going into these tiny ones because they're a lot more surprising. I feel like they don't really go through the stuff with a fine tooth comb and it's a proper treasure hunt. little pieces in that last one so I'm gonna head on in now to Vinny's which will be my last stop of the day fingers crossed we end on a super high note
I found Shirley Barber and I am so, so happy I found those books because I haven't found Shirley Barber books in ages. They just light up my world. I'm, I just love them so much. They are a huge nostalgia piece for me and they sell really quick. So that is also a bonus, especially when it's my job. <laughs> okay, we are back at home and I have filled up the lounge with all of my goodies from today. And it is a little bit upsetting that I can't sit on my lounge anymore, but for good reason, because there's a pile of money sitting on it. I'm going to quickly flick through all of my items excluding the items that I've bought for personal use. And we're gonna add up how much I expect to get for each of them very conservatively. And then we're gonna minus eBay fees. And always keep in mind, there's lots of other costs and things that I have to consider that come out of the end net profit as well. Also, I have to put a lot of work into these items. So I have to clean them, photograph them, list them, store them, ship them out. So there's still a lot of work that goes into these items to make this profit. But it'll give you a really good idea of how much you can expect to get on a day out thrifting. For a fun day out shopping and doing what I love, which is saving items from landfill, helping mother nature and supporting charities all at the same time, it's been a pretty good day. This makes me so happy. So I'm just sitting here in my office and we've got my tomatoes just growing just outside the window. And there was a currawong that just came down and started eating one of the um, almost ripe tomatoes on the vine. This makes me so unbelievably happy to see native wildlife in our garden happily feeding because of the work that we have put into the garden. Oh my god, my heart is so full. breakdown for week 40 I listed 59 items I sold 35 items and the amount of resources that we kept out of landfill 
diverting it back into the circular economy, which is a combination of the reused packaging items and the secondhand items themselves, was a total of 20 kilograms.